yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Welcome okay. back. What's up? To Beers and Garbage. Episode 6. Episode 6. Episode 6. 4th of July edition. Guys, guys, guys. Did you know that 4th of July, Independence Day, is actually on the 2nd of July? They just signed the Declaration of Independence two days later. Because they were hungover from Budweiser's. No, because they do everything late. From oh. Buddies. Yo, guys, cheers. Cheers, oh, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. What do you think? How about Budweiser? One of my favorite beers. What do you think, Mark? I think that it's uh, pretty good. It's it's crispy. It's uh, this is the the great American. So Spe- speaking of other great Americans, <laughs> Uncle Sam, <laughs> Uncle Andy, Uncle Andy, man, don't, don't Uncle Sam. Who's Uncle Sam? Uncle Andy. What Uncle do you think Andy. of the beer? I think that this is really this is some of the best water I've had in a while. I think it's, it's pretty American water. It's American water. It's Since American it's water. Not, alco- uh, not alcoholic, exactly. what do you think of it? I think it's a really good non-alcoholic beer. Where does it stand in your <sighs> non-alcoholics? Non-alcoholic beers that you've uh, Top four. I like that. I like that. He's a top four. So, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Fourth of July. Fourth Damn. of July. Happy birthday, America. Thank you. Me too. Since Happy my birthday, birthday too. Uncle Sam. Excuse me? <laughs> Uncle Andy. Uncle Andy. Mark, do you, what do you want to call him? What do I want to call him? No, 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 no. If, if, Mark, <laughs> if Mark called me what he wanted to call me, I'd be crying right now. We can't do it here. He's disrespectful. We got to call him. We got to call him Andy. I, I'm, I'm empowered today, guys. You're empowered? Yeah. Why do you feel empowered? Why? Because you guys pay me with we your pay taxes. You? Ah. Uh-huh. I thought we were paying Mark. Uh-huh. I thought we were paying me. Wait, who's Mark? Me. We oh. were paying Mark because Mark yeah. cleans up the streets over Yeah. Your tax is coming to me. Okay. Yeah. They might go through you no, to no, me. Yeah, yeah. They go through me. They go yeah, through they go through yeah, you. I pay you. Yeah, you pay I me. I pay you. That's Ooh. what it is. Ooh. Look who's my boss today. Ooh. I'm pretty sure he just recruits people. I'm pretty sure you just get people to do things. Do your point, bro. Do okay, your point for the relax, camera. Whatever. You not going to point for the camera? Whatever. Point yeah, sure. Camera, I'll, I'll, I'll point you. for the camera. I'll point for the camera, guys. Poor? Point. I want Bang. you for the U.S. Army. To buy merch. Uncle Andy. That's a good one. That was funny. Yeah. That's on point. I wish you would have thought of that. Wait, is the yeah. Great American me? Is that a, a well? Yeah, Sam, Uncle Sam. Is that is he the Great American? Is that what that is? No, bro. Budweiser is the Great American. <laughs> oh. It's right here. It's, it says it right here on the side. Says it's it the on the American. label. It's really calling itself the Great American. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a crazy I title. I don't think it's calling itself. I think, I think, that's other it. Americans have labeled it. Okay. I mean, I still think it's cool, regardless. I mean, no, because because you think it's cool, it makes you an American. Yo, yo, Mark, look, a penis. Wow. Yeah, for you guys who can't, well, nobody can really see this, but it, it, this is pretty American to me. Um, I just kind of made a dick figure in the sofa with uh with the beer. American? Jeez, that's such a hard pass on. American? I, I, we should cut that out. <laughs> that's how terrible that was. Why? I don't know. That was that was kind of that was kind of a uh, really out there thing yeah, that you just a, found it's out. It's a, it's a dick. Wow. Are you American? Yes. Were you born here? Yes. The only one on this podcast that was born here? Yes. Okay. Correct. How do you feel about that? Uh, what do you mean? I, I was just born here, man. What are you talking about? That's nice. I'm a, prou- s- I'm a proud patriot, I guess. Sort of. Are you? Yeah, I'm Uncle Sam, Andy. Do you tell people that you're... American? Yeah. I mean, I live in America, so I don't really go around telling people I'm American. So oh, okay. when somebody comes to me and like, yo, where are you from? What, what do you tell them? Ooh, I tell them where my parents are from. Why do you do that? What's, why, why is that important? Everybody's asking where are you from? Well, because nine times out of ten, that's what they're asking me, though, is, like, my nationality, like, in terms of descent. I feel like everyone here just assumes that you were born here. That's like, actually a really good question. Don't what you think? Do you, Alex, what do you tell people when, like, somebody's like, yo, what are you? Where are you from? Ukrainian. That's what you say? Yeah. Okay. What and from? Say? I say I'm from New York. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah. And then they'll be like, but where is your family from? And I'll be like, oh, they're Russian. And then they'll be like, Are you, were you born there? And I was like, yeah. So, yeah, so you're Russian. Because they usually say, yeah, it's going to be no, weird. So you're they usually say I'm Spanish. But we're all American here. What do you no, mean? No, not even close. You ha- are you, you're you, a citizen. Citizen, yeah, sure. Well, you just don't feel American. It's also private information. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, allegedly. Fun. He's allegedly a citizen, guys. Yeah, you know, now you never know. <laughs> now you really don't know. Now I'm confused. Wait, yes. so then, so, but you are too. You're a citizen too. Yeah. Okay. Allegedly. 
So, 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 Andy, so where are your parents from? El Salvador. Do you consider yourself Salvadorian? Uh, not really. Probably not. Just because, you know, a different culture also. Like, the, the, the Salvadorian side of my family, I, I know it through my parents, not because... You've never been there? When I was, like, a baby. When I did, uh, okay. like, to where I can't remember anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What did your parents portray Salvadorian culture to be? Ooh. Like, what is it? Like, honestly, a struggle. What makes it Salvadorian? You got a struggle? Well, that's, that, that's what my parents always made me understand. It's, like, how lucky I am to be, like, born here and to live here. To be an American. Yeah, to be an American. Mm. Because, like, over there, it's just all about, like, it's not even, it's not that it's about struggle. It just all is struggle. So everyone's, like, hella humble. Yeah, I'm just going to start popping questions off on you. Pop me. Shoot. Pop me. How do you feel about baseball? Fire. Love it. Love it. How do you feel about American, uh, American pie? How do you feel about <laughs> apple pie? <laughs> Apple pie? Yeah. I personally don't like it. Mm. But that is very American. Well, that's why I asked. Very American. That's like okay. uh, that one uh, scene in every show where like the mom's like cooking in the kitchen. Kids playing in the backyard and she goes, the pie's ready. And mm. she puts it on the windowsill. That's pretty American. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uncle Sam comes out of the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucked your mom. <laughs> not your mom, guys. <laughs> not, not your mom. <laughs> not your mom. No, not no, your no, mom. No, no, no. no but yeah, uh, that's pretty American. Give me another one. Um, another one. Are you in debt? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not in debt yet. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Do you know that an average American is uh, in debt fifty four thousand uh, dollars? That's not too much, is that? Is that a lot? I don't know. In debt, I guess, right? I, I feel like a lot of it falls on uh, student loans. Speaking of student loans, what are we gonna do about those? Student loans? Come on, Uncle Sam. Yeah, because you want that money. Uncle Sam, let me ask you a question. If you were in charge, what 50, would you do about student loans? 50% off. 50% Ooh. off? I'll, I'll pay half, half all, all your loans because I still need some bread. But I'll, I'll, pay, I'll, 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 I'll forgive half of the loans. America needs that money, right? I, yeah, OD. OD nice. The Americans need the money. You know, I already put enough money into the army and shit. What more do I need money for? What else? What else we got? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready today to solve all of America's problems. <laughs> I'm ready. Gas. I'm so down. Did you said gas? Gas. Yeah, gas prices, bro. What the fuck is up with that, no, bro? No, no, no. What, did you, what did you do? So basically what happened was, you know, Russia's kind of not in the best place right now. Mm. That kind of messed up us a little bit with our circulation in terms of goods. You know, mm. I had to find a, basically a new vendor. Mm. And I'm kind of in the works and negotiating with a couple peeps. But Talk to him. Give me, give me a couple months. Give me a couple months, and you'll see that shit back down three, three ten at three, most. You promise? We need the uncle and the approval. Put, put the, it, st- it, put the uncle you, Sam. Not, not, I can't do that. <laughs> Legally, I can't do that. Allegedly. Allegedly, the Supreme Court, allegedly, the Supreme Court wouldn't let me. Allegedly, in a few months, we're gonna get that. Allegedly, back. allegedly, I, I, if if all plans go well. <laughs> if. if. Unbelievable. I mean, the the gas prices are pretty far. Huh? Yeah, bro. It, it 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 should force people to exercise. Yo, I oh, I love yeah. that. I, I haven't yeah. even thought about that. Nah, don't say you that. You know why? Because one in three Americans is fat, Damn. overweight, obese. So since there's three of us here, not today. I'm not doing it today. No. Nah, nah, he's, nah. He's, he's, he's not doing that today. Nah, I have to. I, I have to put on a, a, good, a good image. That was for, the, for America. That was, that was a dunk. No, that was no, a no, Kobe no, no, past no. the shack. I can't make fun of my own. Jeez. Mm. I can't make fun of my own. Mm. That was you good. You can't look down on people. I can't look Yo, down on speaking people. Yeah, of, uh, speaking of gas, did you know that, I didn't know this, just found this out recently, that if you pay with your card, that it costs more? Yeah, I'll surcharge. Just found that out. I just found that's, that out. That's what, that's what a lot of things, though. Oh, my though. God, bro. It's, it's I didn't know gas. that. I just you thought that. Find that out. You, you never look at the prices right at the pump. I tax you for that, too, cuz. I tax you for that, too. Bro, can I ask you a question? It's when like you go 20, to the store... When you go to the store, Alex, when you go to the store and they go, are you okay? And then the price is like seventy forty three, right? And for they what? go, for anything, right? And they $70, go, $70.43? Yeah. And they go, are you okay with that? What do you usually say? Yes. Well, wait, you wait, have no wait, choice. A monitor? Yeah, you have no choice. So are you okay with this amount? Yeah. What you press no, it's not going to be like, okay, answer the amount that you're okay with. No, but it'll tell you. Found that. What if it does that? Imagine the what if whole. That's what it does. Like, oh, you know, what, what, what would you rather? What, pay? what do you want to pay? You put fifty dollars and like, ah, right, well, it's yours. Or it'll be like, okay, do you want to do layaway? I don't think anybody has ever pressed. No, I'm not okay with it. I've, I don't think that I, option has. I'm gonna do it. My dad has a hundred percent. He's gone to AutoZone and like, you know, he's been like, wow, this is a cool fancy oil for the car, and it's like forty five dollars. And my dad's like, oh, forty five dollars. I didn't know. And he'll no. be like, no. 
And then he'll literally just tell me, all right, Andy, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, oh, I bet. I'm out of here. I'm not paying I 45 I don't think that's shit. American. You know what's super nah, American? Nah, that's kind of American. You know what's super American that your dad does? Can I guess? Yeah, one guess. Uh, nah, never mind. My dad is n- not American at all. My guy goes to the junkyard to get car parts oh. and always comes out with the best part and goes to fix cars. <laughs> you think that's American a, cars, Fords. That? All he does is Fords. Yeah, my dad o- does only do Fords. That's right. Fix or repair daily. Mustang, Edge, uh, F-150. That's his lineup. Mm. My dad's nice. Sounds like a Yo, pickups are pretty American. My pickups are that super is, American. That is true. Pickups are kind and, of And all American. my dad does is yard work. You know what else is American? Well, that might not be American, but... Some, something real American? What? What? Virginia. Oh. That's the, the South. That's true. That were is you, very you true. You were born over there, right? No. Oh. What, which state is more American, Massachusetts or Virginia? Massachusetts. No, I highly doubt it. No, I'm telling Virginia. you, Massachusetts. Well, I, history-wise, I guess. I think, I think it's an e- a perfect even of, like, all of America. I think there's some city in there. Like, there's no real city in, in Virginia. That's just, the, like, the that's south. That's true. That's true. So that's, like, Massachusetts, I feel like, is, like, the whole nine yards. It's, like, rural, suburban, and mm. some city. Mm. Some dickhead city. Let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys, uh, you guys enjoy fireworks on the 4th of July? Yes, I do. Do you guys, like, like going to viewing of the fireworks or are you guys like certain people like like to watch it on tv like a bunch of losers oh no no, no. i like to set them up i prefer setting up fireworks oh. than watching them i've never what set, do you up, mean a setting up fireworks like you like, buy your own fireworks yeah like setting them up and then connecting them and then Mark, letting them all go did, did you know that fireworks are illegal in america in in, in new york oh no i didn't know that basically america so, I didn't so know allegedly that. you set up fireworks i i don't know if i did it in new york Oh, okay. Well, see, that's how you. So, that's how you been pre- out of the state recently. That's how you protect yourself. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what? You know. You know what I think about people that buy fireworks. Yes. I think they waste their money. Why? They're fucking idiots. Why? Because, but what if you're in the middle of nowhere and you want you're fireworks? You're buying fireworks. You're spending crazy amount of money on fireworks. Yeah, but it's fun. How, is it really fun? Yes, it's a you, lot of fun. You light something up. You run away. You you, you look and. Yeah, you did that. It is pretty fun. It's not that fun. It's though. pretty fun. Set it on fireworks. I is I haven't so whack. I haven't been the one to like set it on fire or like set it on like like to ignite it. But I've been like the person next to him, and then I just run. Like just that's fire. It's fun. That's fun. Fucking cheers, fun. Cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers to oh, lighting shit. stuff on fire Ooh. and watching it explode. That's hold very on, American. Andy, would you pay a hundred dollars to do that? Anyways. <laughs> Hell no, nah, we're not. Hell no, bro. Wait, wait. You don't your have boy, to. You don't have to pay a hundred dollars. You, you can do a little one. Fireworks. Fireworks are expensive. Yes. Really, really nice big ones, yeah. But you can do little, uh, little. You gonna buy ones. a little bullshit one that just explodes on, on the street? I mean, bro, you want to go up in the air, bro? You want to go up high? Yeah, I guess. You're gonna pay money for that. You're gonna pay big money. If it's once a year, there's, I think it's worth it. There's so many people right now driving to Pennsylvania to buy mad fireworks for this weekend, right? Yeah. To drive back and pop mm. them tonight. Yo, this is pop. literally prime time for the firework industry. Fourth of July. Just literally, everyone buys. Anything. You know what I think is stupid? Do you guys think the firework industry is? Uh, American? No. I think yes. it's Chinese. Did you ever look at a box of fireworks? Every box of fireworks has an American flag on it. Does it? Most. I don't buy fireworks. No. They, they, and then, like, and like they'll have some, like, crazy, like, thing. They'll have a dragon, but call it, like, a, a dragon American. That's And, like, weird. it'll be, like, a dragon with the colors of an American flag. I mean, it's so fucked up. They just took Japanese people's dragons and... Yeah. No, uh, it was is like, it, yo, American. Yeah, because, oh, like, aren't, aren't... That's what aren't America does. Fu- America be stamping... Fireworks are Chinese, though. I don't know. Are they? Yeah, they are. Fireworks, because the, fire, the the Chinese also created gunpowder. So did Americans. How do you think they killed the British? That's not at all how that works. I want these gunpowder facts Gunpowder is checked. old. I we, want these facts we need checked a fact immediately. Check. Guys, fact checked if China... We, we can fact check it right now. So let's do it right now. I'm, tell, I'm telling you right now, the Chinese were the first ones to really use and create gunpowder. And okay. in turn, they made fireworks. Okay. Bro, I every time I talk about fireworks... And I've talked like around a fellow, like you know. You sound like you're uh, expert. Studied firework in the expert. firework arts. Come on, hit it. You sound like you're a firework expert. What many, is that? Many historians believe that fireworks. <laughs> so uh, it was developed in China. Boom. Bang! Shut your fucking mouth, Mark. Shut your fucking mouth. And then uh, and gunpowder. It had something to do with bamboo. Stocks. Bamboo and gunpowder. And that then fucking dragon so is Chinese. Yeah, cause come on, man. 
Y'all different, bro. Different. Thank uh, you. Uncle Sam Uncle knows Uncle. the deal because I don't thought, only thought love Uncle America. Andy. Thought you were Uncle Andy. I mean, Uncle Andy. Yeah, <laughs> He's yeah. confused with his <laughs> own personal. Uncle Sandy. Uh, Uncle Sandy, okay? I like that. I also love the countries around me, including China and Russia. That's not even around you. Well, what about Mexico and <laughs> Canada? Fuck those. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, around me. No, no, no. Not in the literal sense. I mean, it in more of like the, somewhere in, the world. in other words. <laughs> no, in the power sense. You know, Yo, like some, in other some other oh, superpowers. I was gonna say, in some other words, power he's, tripping. He's not afraid of the ones surrounding I'm not, him. Because we're all friends. Huh? He's not afraid about the ones that are surrounding him. No, no, no. No, I'm not. I'm not worried about them. That's slight work. Slight work. Canada, slight. they're cool. The Mexicans, we are. Right. We typical. <laughs> yeah, we are. We? Right. Yeah, we are. Right. <laughs> 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 we are, you know, but, you know, I, I just, I love everyone equally. Mm. And mm. Uh, especially if you're, you know, capitalistic. Oof. Damn. That's not, that's that's not going. Too political? That's not going. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> no, that's not going. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's way too political. Way too political? Yeah. Well, it's Uncle, it's Uncle skipped, Sandy today. I skipped way too many social studies classes to know what you're talking about. Social studies? I used yeah. to love social studies. Yeah? Yeah. Was that your favorite subject growing up? No, 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 no. Your history? That's mine. No, no, no. Mine was lunch. I see that. <laughs> All Alexis was the gym. I was the kid who always said lunch. <laughs> nah, not even. No? Oh, gym wasn't my favorite subject. What was your favorite subject? Well, no, first of all, gym's not a subject. A period? We don't have to go into this. Never mind. It's, it's, it's no, 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 extracurricular right. it's not, activity. It's not a subject. It's a class. It's a class. Phys ed. Yeah, okay, so we're doing favorite Physical class. Physical education's a subject. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that was my favorite. <laughs> what was it? Biology? No, I I liked uh, math until uh. I, until I got to, like really hard math. Mm. Yeah, until math got until real. Until multiplications came in. Nah, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> until my boy started. I was to a hook. fucking math genius. Divide mm. fractions. Can't do it. S- speaking of speaking of math, Andy, how do you feel about the metric system? Man, do you do you know? <laughs> 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 Fuck the metric system, guys. Let me ask you a question: How many how many centimeters are in a, a meter? The hell are you doing to him? I just want to know. He, that hat's gonna blow no, up no, his no, head. No. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a point. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. Do you know how many inches are in a feet in a foot? Yes. How many? Twelve. Mm, he shot at you, bro. See how American he is. That's how. That's how American. That's what he I am, uses bro. every day. Who does? Yeah, bro. Americans have no fucking clue what the metric Col- is. Kilometers though, per hour. You guys. Even though the whole entire world uses it, except America. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty stupid. We got to be independent. Yeah, we we're trying hard. We got to be different. We're trying hard. We're Mark, trendsetters. Mark, do you know how many cups are in a... Uh, no. Balance? 16. Shoot. See, I didn't know that. Really? Good job. Yep, I think so. I think so. Or is it... Thi- no. Fact check it again? Wait, is it... Is you it, don't know? Is it 16 I ounces? Is it 16 ounces I, in a cup or something like that? I don't know the American system. I All think, I know is inches to feet and that's it. Okay, okay, okay. I, I think I think it's 16 ounces is in, is in, a, is in a cup. Some shit like that. Uh... Guys, fact, fact check. check that. Fact check. Comment below. And if let it, us know. Tell us the right answer. And if you're right, you get free merch. No? Damn. Nah, no. We, we can't afford free We get fifty percent off. Nah. No. <laughs> you get full price, but you're the first one to buy. That was so un American like of you. That. All right, there we go. That Marketing. Was bad American. Marketing. No, no, that was so un American of you. That what? Was you should have been like discount? you discount? You should have been like you buy two. And get five dollars back. Fourth of July sale. No, 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 no. It's fourth of July. Thank you. Fourth of July sale. Rip off. Which we're not doing. No, no, we don't do that. No, nah, we don't do that here. But we don't participate everywhere that. else, go check it out. But yeah, America. Andy, tell us the land of the free. Do you guys know the, the Pledge of Allegiance? At least. Yeah. Oh, that's we were forced to say it in school. Forced. That's not very American. I what guess school not. was that? Like, you were I, forcing us to do I, it. I know it was not. So in junior high school, they forced us to do it. Not really forced, but like you had to do it. That's forced. And then yeah. <laughs> And then in high school, it became like, okay, you don't have to do it. You can, you can sit through it. So oh, well, no. At, well, that so, ha- at some point, that's fine. At some point, it evolved. Yeah, at some point, it was like, okay, we're like, all right, let's high schoolers have the choice to do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that's pretty American, isn't it? To control someone until we can't? Yeah, no, that's super American. There you go. You know, I, I mean, the least you could have done was stand up. Because, you know, political, I know there was some of you who didn't... Political, 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 political. Don't go there. Don't, oh, don't, don't go there. Don't no, go there. No, don't go there. No, 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 no. I mean, you can do whatever you want, you know. Uh, Honestly, you can do whatever you want. That's what I'm saying. You, you, you're you can American. do whatever you want. You're American. You can do whatever you want. Whoa, what does that mean? You guys can do whatever you guys want, too. Uh, debatable. 
I think you guys can do whatever you want. Not whatever. The funny thing is, is like our our like card can get stripped away. I guess if you think about it. What's well, our, so can what's mine. Our card? An American card. Wait, what do you think they're gonna they're gonna American retract card? your citizenship? No, but because I'm saying like you technically, yeah, that could happen. Can they do that? Yeah, Take they could. My citizenship? Yeah, yeah, hundred well, percent. Yeah, only from a terrorist. Yeah, well, there you go. They do that to anyone who's born here too. They send them straight to jail. Yeah, but you can't be sent somewhere else. Like me and him could be sent somewhere else. They can't send you anywhere because this is where you're. No, from. I don't think they can send you anywhere else. They could. I'll figure that out. My secretary, fact check that, <laughs> and we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. We'll make sure these, we set these guys straight. Speaking of secretaries, <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, I know she wasn't secretary, but is that where you're going? You know, secretary no, no, in no. the office. You know. So let's talk about one of our famous presidents that had a, a secretary friend. Mm. Andy, do you know who I'm talking about? Let's let's see how. Uh, oh, this is a good one. How, this is a good how, one. How old you are? Ooh. Secretary friend, Sec- secretary Bush. friend, president with a secretary nah. friend, Clinton. They Ooh, they yeah. allegedly had it. Do you Clinton. know the secretary's name? No, no, I don't know. I don't know the name, but do I know, you know it was, her I name. Know it was Clinton. Yeah, absolutely. Do you really? The yeah. Secretary's name was this like a giant? I'll give you a hint. It starts with an M. Huge thing. Huge thing. He has no idea. M. Yeah. All right, shoot it. Go. Monica Lewinsky. No, I never heard of that lady in my life. Sounds like a sexual like. Monica. She position. sounds like a secretary. Yeah, it's fire secretary. Yeah. You should get one of those. A secretary or, you know. Yeah, secretary. For what? For what? For what, Mark? No. For what, Mark? Take calls? To, to pick up when I call you. Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> Speaking of. Was that your secretary? No, that's the IRS calling him. No, he he, he like has a. Olex, Olex just had a secretary no, call that's him. All this is, that's the IRS because Olex has to pay taxes in two years. Mm. I know about you. You know about me? I know about you, you Mark. I know me? about you too, cuz. How do you feel about taxes? Pay the crazy taxes. What do I feel about taxes? Yeah. Yo, yo Mark, let me, let me ask you a question. Before you, before you, I want, want you to gather your thoughts on how you feel about taxes. Okay. Gather them. While I respect I ask, that. While I ask Mark gather your important thoughts. I need the time. Yeah. So, Mark, as a as a worker of the city, do you still pay tax, ta- taxes? Yeah. Let the people know. Yeah. Why? Do you pay it? So, you kind of don't donate it to yourself. Yes. I'm paying myself. That's mm. so American. Is it I though? Guess. That's the, no, it's so American of America to do that to him and not appreciate the fact that he's a city worker and be like, you know what? Yeah, you don't actually. Don't break. Hey, don't look at me, man. And you get no discounts. I can only nothing. do so much. I try every day. Mark, do you get discounts in places? No. <laughs> what, what discount would he get? Nothing. I remember in I, I used to work in Models before it closed down. Mm-hmm. They used to give discounts to the city workers. 10%. Stop playing. Oh, wow, look really? at that. I feel like I feel like. See, I, but nobody advertises that shit. Like, if you don't know, you're not gonna go in there and be like. Why would you advertise a discount? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Why that, would you advertise? Well, one of the reasons why they have discounts is because they want to show like appreciation. Yeah. So why not make that appreciation public? You work for the city. Here's ten percent off. You're losing money. You should ask. You should you should walk in and be like, hey, is there a discount for people working in sanitation? Nah, that's too much. Yeah, no. That's too much information being thrown out out there. Yeah, I agree. You know what I do? You know that's how I get out of tickets now. Oh, no, really? can't do that. Really? Yeah, no, you can't do that, bro. You can't, can't do that. that? Yes, because no. I'm around. Bribing police? Yeah, that's how we do it. No, it was, it was, oh, it no, was allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. I didn't hear that. No, no, I meant I like, I meant like, like tickets for like, it's. All right, we can't get into that. Anyways, but yeah, so um, my thoughts on taxes. Oh yeah, yeah, back to that. I mean, really, what is there to think about? What about them? You know, you, why is there taxes? In certain states and no taxes in other states, Uncle Sam. Because what's up? Why Florida the, don't gotta pay nothing? This is this is a free, white Texas don't gotta pay. Th- nothing. This is a free country, you know. And with having a sense of independence, I need the states to be able to make their own decision. Mm. So if they decide that's a good point. to 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 tax you, that's, that's the choice of of the people, the mayor and then the the governor and he then the people you. that you he got you. Pretty you much, see what I'm saying? He he did a, what I think a lot of people do is throw the blame off him. Yeah, and throw exactly. Throw it on everybody else. It's not me. It's not his fault. It's not. He gave the option to you. Yep. And you messed it up. Exactly. You know, like if you like care, when you, you got your boat. boss goes, "Hey, just decide. You want to do this or you want to do that." And then you pick the wrong one. Your boss goes, "You told me." it chose the other yep. one. Now you're fired. There you go. Now you're fired. Yeah. You're fired. Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> Who, who's that, Olex? Who is that? My what ex is? favorite president. Donald Trump. Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta throw favorite in there. Oh my goodness, the favorite, bro. You gotta throw number one. He made America great again. Wow. Wow. What are you going to do? Wow. No way. No way. So, let me ask you a question. Okay, go. As Shoot. A, as a Mexican-American. 
<laughs> first of all, I'm not Mexican, but sure. You you said we when when we were talking about Mexican. Yeah, we Americans. We the Americans. I don't. Yeah, I, we Americans. What what did you we, think I meant? We the people. No. So there's a big stigma that Americans that Americans hate soccer. Ooh. Because the rest of the world refers to soccer as football, and America's favorite sport is football. Okay. We got confused. Somewhere. You want my thoughts on that? Yeah, as a Mexican American, do you do you do you do you kind of fall like in between <laughs> liking soccer and liking football, and just like ah uh, no I can't, I, I can't wait, choose equally love them. Pause. What do you call it? Football. What? Football. Uncle Sam calls it that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, football. Because I have to respect other other nations' culture and language, you know, and soccer is not See, American. Like, while disrespecting your own. Not disrespecting my own. I'm paying tribute to the rightful credited nation and, and language. I don't know. Do you give credit? Yeah, of course I do. For what? For my fellow country. My fellow country allies. Come on, man. I guess. Come on. How, you know what else? How do you, feel Amer- how do you feel about American football as an American? It's fire. Feel, it is fire. That's Fantasy exactly, football, fire. That's how exactly how he feels about baseball because he just said it. He just fire. Feels, he just feels fire about everything. Never seen Andy watch a single baseball game in my life. No, Favorite I watch team? A baseball game. Yankees. Favorite football team? Giants. Giants, baby. Giant, you can't really see it. Can't see it. Can't see it. Yeah, you can. Right there. Mm. Wearing Giants colors. Right there. Giants colors. You know what else you is very, uh, very. Um, Mark, do you watch football? No. Mark is football. No. Which I don't like do baseball. Watch? Really? Which sport do you like? The fuck do you watch? I like basketball. Okay. I so could watch. Basketball team. It's pretty American. Lakers. 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 Okay. Well, anyways, I'm gonna ignore. Like, I'm gonna pretend like he didn't say that. Why? I've been I've been running with them for a while. I, I'm not arguing. No, I'm I just looking at you for backup. No, you got backup. Has Thank he? You. He's a Laker fan. Straight okay. up. No, I respect. That. I mean, all through all transitions and everything. Straight up, straight down. Yeah. Hard, hard all Kobe. the Kobe years. All you that. know what? Yeah. You know what is uh very Fourth of July Independence Day type ish? What? Barbecues. Yeah. You guys have plans? Agree. For barbecues? Um, do we have plans, Alex? Why are you asking him? Because he's usually the one in charge of the BB. Mm, gotcha. The BBQ. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I don't know. My barbecue. Mm. My barbecue tomorrow. Not today. It's just a hassle. You guys have uh, certain How things. How is it a hassle for you, bro? Well, not for me, but I'm saying for people who like want a barbecue and go to the beach, like this is like the worst weekend. There's beaches. There, like me, me in the stores, gone. Ice, ice. Gone. There's Cooler's beaches, gone. There's beaches that have little barbecue setups there. Those are fire. I, I like, love those. I like those. You gotta go super early. The ones that have also those. like the the wooden tables and shit that where you gotta can eat be at. There seven a.m. Yeah. Bro, seven a.m. I think I think they're called picnic tables. Are they picnic tables? I yeah. think what the proper term tables? would be a picnic table. Well, what makes it a picnic table? You'd have to have a picnic, but I'm not having a picnic. I'm having a beach day. I think a picnic is a picnic. A those barbecue are, is a barbecue. I think those are barbecue You can have tables. a picnic without a barbecue. Barbecue tables, guys. That's what they're called. Nice. Um, yeah, American. Let's talk about going to a barbecue. Okay. Okay. Andy, you're going to a barbecue. What do you bring? What am I bringing? Yeah. What's your go-to bringing? Yeah, the one thing. Like, Tortillas. <laughs> you bring something with the tortillas? Yeah, I could. It depends. It, it, it depends you're, you're who I'm going, going with. You're not going with, with your family. You're going by yourself. Oh, my goodness. Glizzies. I mean, hot dogs. You bring hot dogs? Dirty dogs, yeah, for sure. You bring okay. hot dogs, you bring buns? And the buns, yeah. And, and I'll even fuck around and bring a, like a hot sauce. Let me, let, I like doing that. I like bringing hot sauce. Let me ask you guys a question. Is it proper etiquette, proper barbecue etiquette, if you're bringing like hamburger meat or hot dog meat, to bring the buns on the side, or should that be assigned to a different person? Nah, that's the same guy. You're walling. No, if you're bringing it, you got to bring the entire thing. Yeah, you can't. You the can't finish setup, halfway. Right? Yeah. yeah, you got to bring ketchup. It's pot. like bringing you like bring co- like the condiments and lettuce, tomato. Mm. No. Me, Ooh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. First of all, my personal opinion: if you're at a barbecue, and this does not apply to only Fourth of July barbecues, all barbecues, if you're putting lettuce, tomatoes on your burger. Your burger. If you're mm. putting you lettuce not, and like, tomatoes. Barbecue burgers are literally bread and sauce, meat. meat, cheese, bread. Now nah, you're walling. Good. I agree with that. Yeah, you should not be putting anything else nah, on that. No, you should no, not. No, I, I, I need lettuce and tomatoes. Why do you need it? Spoiled. I just like it. Entitled. Yeah, I, I just really like I don't it. I like that. That's fine. 
And since we're in America, that's okay. it's okay for you not to like that. <laughs> you that know what I'm good. saying? That's good. That's that, good. No, that's not. It's not about being. That's the truth. How do you feel about bringing the food? Like so, like in my mind, when I bring the food, I'm gonna offer to cook it. A lot of people bring their own. Like yo, if you're a vegetarian, you bring your own burgers, and then you just put them in the cooler, expecting somebody to cook it for you. Depends. I find that there's a problem. Do there. we have a designated? Oh, like so you cooking the meat that you brought? Griller. So hold on. So you're, are you saying people are gonna take turns grilling their stuff? Yeah. Well, I'm saying if wild. you're bringing specific things for you. What do you mean? So like, if you're a vegetarian, you're bringing your own shit. Yeah. Like, do you come nah. up to the cook and be like, yo, look, I'm a vegetarian. Can you cook this for me? Or like, hey, do you mind if after you cook all the nah. meat and everything, I can hop on there and cook my vegetarian burger? No. Nah. I, it's, as as a person that grills, yeah, I prefer people coming up to me and asking me to make it for them. Okay. Yeah. Andy, what do you want? You coming up? You cooking it yourself? I need a designated griller. Can you grill? I mean, I can if I need to, but I, I'd rather not. Okay. So, yeah, Like, for I example, guess. Olex. Olex would 100% make better grilled food than I would. He's way better with the grill. I wouldn't do myself the disservice and not give it all X. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. But some sense. people are like very particular. Like, oh my god, I feel like this person is gonna touch. I, this is gonna, gonna cont- contaminate my food. Nah, that's if you're doing that, you're doing too much. No, but are you doing too much? Like, what if your uh, your religion says no pork and we're over oh. here cooking? Um, mm. You need two grills. That's, that's completely different, though. You, you need two grills. You need two yeah, grills. That's completely that's different. Though. Or you cook that stuff first. What if you're that person that is very particular about what you eat, and you need it grilled for you? Oh no! Then you got. Is it? Is it? Does it behoove you to show up on Whoa. time? Hold on, pause. That's a big word. I used behoove. it before. Behoove. behoove. I used it before. Sorry. So does it behoove you to show up on time? That way you can get your stuff done earlier. Like, it is, again. Is, is it more respectful of you to show up on time? Get my veggie burger done earlier before everybody else brings their meat. So where I was going, and then, like, like it's mad inconsiderate if you want somebody to cook a veggie burger for you and you don't, don't want any meat touching. He's it. very passionate. This and is way too. Com- Yo, I'm already not inviting you. Complicated. I'm not doing that. You if you want a veggie meat? burger, you you eat before you get here. I have a solution for it. You bring your food cooked already. There you go. Boom. I just have to heat it up. You have to bring your food cooked. If you have certain preferences, you can't. You can't bring yeah. You can't bring those food issues. that still has to be cooked, and aside from everything else that was planned on being cooked. Bro, you just can't bring those issues you can't. to the barbecue. You can't. Nobody wants to do that shit. Nobody can't wants to have to put up with that shit. You That's not American of anyone. No. That's fucked up. As a person who um, is invited to a barbecue, do you just choose what you bring, or do you ask? Uh, you ask first. You yes. Ask you have needed? to ask first. Yes. Yeah. Because you don't want to double down. You don't want to bring... You know, extra chicken because you forgot some other guy was supposed so to. So I've been par- I've been parts of barbecues where people have a list of things they want at a barbecue and they just assign it to different people. Okay. Without asking, what if you get assigned to buy something that you are not interested in? You're not gonna eat. Ooh. Are you gonna buy it just for the sake of the barbecue, or are you gonna be like, yo? Do you I'm- get to pick, or you're literally assigned? No, you're literally assigned. You want certain things at that barbecue, ground meat. To, uh, I'm, I'm bringing whatever is assigned to me. Yeah, I agree. I'm I bringing agree. whatever is assigned to me. Don't okay. care if I'm eating it or not. This way. That's my collaboration. I'm eating whatever I wanted to. Yeah, that's my collaboration. And I'm mad at you if you brought, you brought the wrong macaroni salad that I wanted to bring and I couldn't because it was assigned to me. There you go. What if? I got it. What if? Excuse you? You good? Excuse you. You get invited to a barbecue and you're like, what should I bring? And the person's like, oh, don't worry. We got everything. Beer. Cups and plates. What? Cups and plates. You what? offer to bring more cups and plates. Because a lot of the times the people who are hosting are the ones supplying. And, you know, in case they have to make that run, I always had like, oh, well, do you have cups and plates or anything? Mm-hmm. Like some napkins or something? Maybe even like a pack of ice because, you know, we need a cool Ice and, and beer. That was a good catch. Ice and beer. Yeah. You never go wrong with ice and beer. Never. That's true. You bring booze. I yeah. can't do that, though. Why? Because I'm 20. I can't buy booze. Yeah, but you can get ice. I can get ice, but yeah, yeah, but, but for I you, feel like only no, showing no, no, up. But with for you being underage, your go to some sodas is soda, chips? ice, and chips. Chips. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say chips. I too. wouldn't go with dips because dips are very. See, you, this is an American ass conversation. Yeah. You just got to get a lot of dip. And you a don't lot of dip. What kind and of dip, dip is expensive. Ooh. What kind of dip you guys like? Uh, the one from Aldi. The one that we always get. Um, what's the salsa? Miguel. No. no Miguel that, salsa? That's, that was messed up. Wow. There's this one. It's, it's going to come to us. Yeah, there's this it's one salsa at Aldi. It's, it's perfect. It's, it's sponsored. It's, it's amazing. No, no, we're going to plug it. Yeah, like, no, it, it deserves. Comes, we're going to plug it. Yeah, it's really good. 
It's it's a it's a must cop. Mark, what's your favorite dip? If you were to dip your chips in anything, what would you dip it in? Guacamole. Okay. Guac. Guacis. Guac. Guac is good. Yeah. You like all those veggies yeah. in, your, in, in your guac? Tomatoes. Re- red Not onions. a big fan of tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes. So many people hate tomatoes. Yeah. No, he doesn't say he it's hates like, them. It's like, a, hate it's like a tomato beef. That's funny because isn't there like a beef tomato type? Is that a name of a tomato? No, a beef, like tomato? beef tomato? <laughs> people beef with tomato a lot. Like you either like I feel like there's more people in the world that don't like tomatoes that, that like tomatoes. Okay. I put ketchup on food that is bland. I feel like ranch is an American thing. I put ketchup thing. on almost anything. What about ranch? But why? Then you can't taste the food that you're eating. So what? Andy, how do you delicious. feel about that? Ketchup on anything? No, I'm not doing that. Not on anything. I'm not doing that. So when do you use ketchup? There's basics. Uh, there's French fries. Okay. Hot dogs. Okay. Um, I mean, those are honestly, I think, the two biggest ones. Okay. I, I know some people like to put that shit on their pizza. No. Nah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, me neither. Can't Fun do that. Fun fact, Can't grew, up, grew up in Ukraine mm-hmm. buying the pizza. U- U- Ukrainian pizza, so you guys can imagine. And they would put... Bologna? No, not bologna, but sometimes bologna. Maybe like pepperoni. But they would put uh, ketchup and mayo as like a topping. Well, that's a secret sauce. It's a pink sauce. Secret but, sauce. But that's a pink they sauce. Don't put it as a that's se- they don't put it yo, on as a secret sauce. They was, put I, it on as... It's pretty but funny. But hold on. Andy asked about ranch. Okay. Yeah, ranch is pretty American, right? Yeah. What do you put ranch on, Andy? I personally only put that on, well, when I eat salad. We rarely... What but else? I know people who do like nachos. They like to put their nachos in there. Eating salad is mad un-American. Is it? Uh, though? Is it though? It depends. Uh, it's super what if I get my salad at McDonald's? Mm. Mm. That's pretty American. And nah, apple pie like, on the side. No, that's come the, on, that's McDonald's the most European is European thing in the world. McDonald's is the most American thing ever, bro. Yeah, but not Mc- McDonald's salad. It's it's more like about the getting. Place. Nah, you're going you're to McDonald's to get a salad. That's American, isn't it? Bro, Mark, and, that's and American. And used to do that shit, bro. And used to go to Chick Fil A get a salad. That's horrible. No, Chick Fil A salads are fire, though. Why are you going there to get salads? Because they have the the crispy chicken. Why not go to like Southwest? a deli and get a salad? They're so much better. Why the fuck would I get a salad at a deli? Because the toppings. You, but it's you good pick, in Chick Fil A. You could pick whatever your heart desires. I don't know. This, I, I, I just, I think Chick. I'm always standing by Chick Fil A salads. How much is the Chick Fil A salad? I don't fucking know. I pay whatever it costs, bro. Mark. Avocado <laughs> lime. Guys, that shit is no joke. Let me ask you a question. Ten years ago. <laughs> uh, it's a little too soon. Yeah. Never mind. Andy, I'm not going to ask you a question. Mark, 20 years ago, do you remember McDonald's having salads in their menu? No. And also their fries are different. I'm still bad. No, that's true. But, like, the whole salads the being sold different. at fast food places is yeah. a new concept. Yeah. We never looked at the calorie count. We never looked at it's, whatever was in it. We didn't care. It's a it's to quote unquote make Americans. Healthy. Our parents just fed us chicken nuggets. You guys seen that yeah. super size me shit? Yeah. That, oh. I feel like that's the most American thing to do is to show small kids that super size me at school. I think it is shown in school. It's show. Yeah, I, I was shown it in school. I was like shown it in school. Mad times. I slept through it. Bro, tell me that's not crazy. Like actually, I was just speaking to a coworker about this. She goes to like every country ever. And uh, every she, country ever, every country ever, it's and a stupid. Sentence. She goes to so many countries, and basically, she said that one of the craziest things is like how the sizing in America is unique to America. Like, well, she's gone to McDonald's in the different countries, and their large is like in between our medium yeah. and our large. Like, it's crazy. Like, that's a, that's American, as yeah. Fuck. But it was like yeah, a whole Americans f- pump shit up. Super size me is not pump, a fucking joke. Pump, pump it up. You guys mm-hmm. seen Super High Me? No, but I need to. There's there's a version of Super Size Me, <laughs> but. This guy just smokes weed, <laughs> and he takes a bunch of, like, specialized tests and different activities to see if he performs those activities better high. Super high, me. Or sober. That's a great idea. Yeah, I have a question about, uh, so when you go to a barbecue, mm-hmm. do you dress to impress or dress for comfort? Comfort. Olex. So, a little side note to me. Side every note. barbecue I show up to, I end up grilling. Okay. Ooh, that's a I big... I show up yeah. in my grill uniform every time. What's the grill uniform? Short shorts, comfy shirt. Like that's going to come off. The shirt that I can legit wipe my hands on. Yeah. Okay. It's going to come off. And Birkins. Mm. Birkenstocks. Yeah. That's going to be yeah. the new dad... With socks. Sandal. Yeah, yeah, okay. With socks? You're bugging. With socks. Yeah, no, you lost as one. As bad as I can get. That's mm. wild. 
That's gonna be the new the new. What was the old shoe before? That one New Balance shoe? Yeah, the new New Balance. Uh, it's actually not the New Balance. It was it's a Nike Air Monarch. Mm, yep, that's where it is. That's the most grill shoe ever. Working at Modelo, I saw that shoe mad times. So a bunch of old white Americans. Yeah. Oh, and let me. Is it not kind of fire? The shoe at that time was not fire. It was like made oh, fun no. of. Oh no! Well, no, of course not. But for I'm talking about reason, now. For some reason, you kids made it seem like it's the next big thing. I don't know. You you kid you kids literally brought back a lot of shit that we had in the nineties that was popular, and just brought it back. And I was like, yo, this let's, shit is, let's let's rerun it. Yeah, this shit is fire. Yeah, you got to appreciate. Agree. You got to appreciate what was. No, I agree with you. Yeah. No credit given. They don't give credit. What no, they about? never get. No, they would never. They, give they never give credit. No, 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 that's uh, true. We, I'll just go fuck myself then. The fuck. They always no, say you, like we you thought of this. Might give credit. Yeah, of course. But as a group of people, you guys don't give. credit. I get that. You guys, you guys, say that you invent things and. Yeah. It's like we did this shit years ago. I feel. It's just there's no social media to prove it. Yeah, we just put it on the map. Mm. Yeah. And you yeah. also have receipts mm. through social media. There you go. Yo, guys, quick cheers. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, oh. America. Allegedly. Happy belated. Happy belated, July America. Second. Whatever. As long as we're celebrating all those Americans and all the patriotism in the world. Right. Well, in America. Let's bring it back. So you're at a barbecue. Barbecue. Um. There's somebody that brings music, somebody that DJs. Ooh, what? I haven't I haven't heard of this in such a long time. What? what? Somebody bringing music, auxing. Somebody plugging their phone. Someone auxing. <laughs> Actually, no, no. Somebody bringing a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. What are we playing? And yeah, what kind of who who is DJing? And at which point does the DJ get take it off? Because they're trash. The music gets turned down when you start eating. Turned down a little bit, yeah, and people start talking amongst I each have other. A question: The barbecues you go to, you guys all eat as a group, or no. it's one by one? Whoever gets fucking food, it's a mass, and then one by ones. Yeah, so it's like everyone eats at once, and then seconds go around. Some new, some latecomers come in; they're eating. It, it, it's like the majority it's at once. It's offered up as an everybody start making a line to eat. Yep, and then it breaks out into individual plates being made and i'm playing michael jackson that whole time you you know how you just asked what am i playing it just came to me michael jackson i feel like he's pretty he's pretty cookout barbecue appropriate as uncle sam is an american do you approve that message yeah of course michael jackson MJ? fuck yeah hell yeah a fellow american like that with some moves like that hell yeah last time you named two michael jackson songs he named five Wait, 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 wait. Last it? time you named two Michael Jackson songs. Okay. I bet you don't remember which ones there was. Can you name five? Okay. Beat It. One. Wait, can I repeat some of them? Yeah. Okay. If you remember what they were. Beat It. Uh, Rock You. Uh, Pretty Rock. Young Thing. Uh, Billy Jean. And We Are the World. I like that. Ooh. I mean, Ow! I don't know about playing We Are the World at a barbecue. Place. Oh, yeah. Well, well yeah. that wasn't. We are the world. Yeah, no, that's a that's a that's a barbecue ender. Stop. That's a wrap it up. See, that's that's when I lose the ox. When I play, we are the well, we are the world in in a, in a barbecue. I feel like if you play more than three MJ songs at a barbecue, you lose the ox. Mark. No. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. What? I agree. There's a limit. Well, There's I mean, I mean, I'm not just playing one artist the whole Yo, time. Yo, drill drill rap at a barbecue. Yes. At least for 20 minutes. Pop to smoke. start to start it off. Pop smoke. It could be like in the start. background. Hold we on, Mark. You have a whole like breakdown of uh, how music should be played. So you start off with drill. Yeah, you sound yeah. structured, man. Some drill you, rap, some pop. Yeah, smoke. you play it in the background. There's there's this Fabio. thing called background music, right? So between the background music, so when I go to a barbecue, I offer to bring uh, my 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 beer pong tables. <laughs> so what happens is like during I like to create activity. So like while we're doing that, while we're playing beer pong, we're gonna play music in the background. Then when the meal is served. We're going to play some casual music, some pop, some okay. R&B, maybe. Okay. R&B. And then after you see a lot of people stopped eating, you switch over to the bachatas. You switch over to the salsas. Oh, wow. At Salsa. an American a, barbecue? Yeah. A little bit more international, I see. Americans Shut love up. to dance to Latin music, to Spanish, to reggaeton. Can they dance? I, that's not for me that's to decide. I'm question, not American. No, no, the question is for Uncle Sam. Oh, Uncle Sam, can y'all our, dance? Our our resident Mexican Look, American. I know, I know, I, I know, I can dance. Right. I know, I don't know about. I know you can dance too, yo. Yeah, I'm pretty you good. Oh, you can dance. I'm pretty nice. I ain't gonna lie. Mm, of course you are. That's fine. It's fine, man. Yeah, yeah, I do you. Believe me. I do. I believe you. 
You look like a dancer. Look at those dancing Do you guys legs. Dance at barbecues? Yeah. Is there a dance at barbecues or is it just? I think there's two steps. It depends. Oh, I like two steps. I think I, because when you two step, you could still eat like a hot dog mm. and talk. You could mm. still manage. It's a multitasking because you're not. You know, you gotta play dominoes. You gotta play some poker, something at at the BBQ too. Poker at a barbecue. My dad used to. My dad, used, crazy. bro. My dad is a motherfucker, bro. He used to win so much money off those. Well, so much in terms of like what they were putting in. He would save it. No. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you? <laughs> fuck no. He'd be like the next day shoes. Like, what shoes. the fuck? You only won thirty five dollars. Those shits cost one hundred twenty. That's mad American. Getting money and spending it. My dad, bro. My dad knows that. Andy, what do you think the American dream is? What my dad has now. <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. My dad, my dad immigrated to this country, spoke no English, had no money. Was That's poor, the American Was dream. poor as fuck. And then he worked his ass off. He, he became a waiter, was in the fucking restaurant industry for backwards. years. That was backwards. Nah, made some money, moved to a different state where he made even more money. And then he bought a house. Moved to one of the most American states. One, Virginia, one of the first states ever. And he moved there. Yo, Had you. Uncle Sam, what's the first state ever? Mark, do you know what's the first state ever? It's Virginia. No, it's not. No? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the hold on, hold first on. ever state. I know this one. I know this one. Mass. No? Huh? No, it's not Massachusetts. It's not Boston. No. Hold on, hold it's on. It's on their license plate. Oh. It's, it's Delaware? Says, yeah. Delaware? Delaware, the first state that oh, I went don't know. away from the 13 colonies. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. No, you're right. Or something like that. No, no, you're right. You're right. I think you're right. I was thinking, what was the what was the first? No, I don't, I don't know if that's true. I'm not gonna lie to you. What do you, mean you don't know if that's true. I'm, tr- I'm, I'm trying to rerun like through my social studies classes, and you you told me you weren't that so, that well versed in social studies. So it's now I'm starting to think. It's on their license plate. Whose license plate? <laughs> Delaware? Delaware. What does it, it say? The first state. <laughs> oh, nah, God. someone fact check that. That shit ain't right. If they out here using that shit and that's not true, I don't fuck with that. What do you mean if they're using it? I don't it? fuck with that. No, no, no. Someone fact check Delaware. You don't fuck with fake news? I don't fuck with fake news, bro. We don't do that shit around here. Yo, quick question. Um, Shoot. You're at a barbecue. Uh, okay. You're going to a barbecue, right? Going to, you're a barbecue. to a barbecue. What are your top, like, what are the top foods that you want at the barbecue? You know what I mean? Do they like, have to be American? Do they have to be American? No. So, like, I made a list, right? Okay. Right? You have your, like, I, I think we, we talked about this, so we made lists. So... The top, let's say, five choices that you want at a barbecue. Let's each one of us do our five and then okay. work ourselves down. Okay. Let's see how many we got do, of do, the same do, ones. Do we go I five go five, down. then you go five, then you go five? And yes. We break it down? Yeah, we all say our five. Rock, paper, scissors goes first. Okay. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors says shoot. shoot. Well, Rock, paper, I'm out. Si- no, you're not. Yeah, I got paper. And I got. Oh, yeah, you're right, right, right. Okay. So it's uh, two of the same ones yeah, and so okay. forth. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors says shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. So you're out because you are. You go last. Okay, I go last. Go fuck yourselves. He had paper. Or do you want to go first? Mark and Olex. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. I just I'll go okay. first. said my name. You go, uh, you go next. I go last. Okay. Okay, sure. We go in order. My, fir- my five foods. No, no, no. Just say your your fifth one. Oh, my fifth one. Okay, okay. Teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki chicken. Yes. Okay. You can, you can do that. You could do you could, you do, could do whatever your heart does. You could do that. Come on, baby. You could do that. This is land of dreams, land of opportunity. Uh, yeah. So my fifth one. You get Asian chicken. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyways. <laughs> so uh, my t- my fifth one would be kebabs. Okay. Skewers. Kind of kebabs? Like skewers. Chicken. Like beef, anything. Lamb. You Cheers. can mix it up on a skewer. Throw anything on a stick. Okay. Throw anything on a stick. So I can put a Cheeto on a stick. What if? People at a barbecue line don't like pork. What if no, you have different sticks. Yeah, you got to have different sticks, cuz. Come on. You got to have different sticks. Dedicated sticks. Do you Dedicated. Marinate your chicken? Do I marinate my chicken? Nah, he yeah, just puts you got to sh- add flavor to it. He just puts it recipe. raw on the fucking is grill. It, is, it, is it a secret recipe? Soy sauce. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> no, you got like spices on there. Talk to me, bro. You got a couple of spices on there. You could throw on some uh What spices? Some salt. I like huh? the mixes. The I world. like the pre-made. How many people make shit chicken? Do I don't. Us Bro, it's a safety. Chicken? Just get the Adobe shit. That Adobe shit? Oh, the all, the all round Adobe. season? Yeah. Crackhead? Bro, you're a Adobo? Crack. Uh, it's not Adobe. It's not fucking. You said Adobe. Adobe's a software. Is it Adobo? Program. It's Adobo. It's Adobo. It's Adobo. It's Adobo. Uh, I mean, Adobo. Adobe. It's Adobo? <laughs> <laughs> it's Adobo. Adobe. Adobe. You get some Adobo. Adobe. You get in your fucking computer. Adobe's a software. Bro, I just program. buy it. I don't fucking go to the store and be like, can I get some Adobo? Oh, that's just, what's your fifth? Come on. Stop. My, my fifth? 
corn. Corn on the cob. With what? butter. And that's it? Okay, no. No that's cheese? Pretty, that's pretty fine. Nah, no cheese. No cheese? Just butter. Yo. Tell me he's tell me he's whack. I think that it's gonna whack all Thank you. Salt. No, you need cheese. What kind of cheese? Uh, tell him. <laughs> Pepper Jack. American. Mm. Pepper Jack cheese. Should have said American. Oh, Fuck American. He <laughs> failed. Cut. <laughs> that part out failed. and it's American. Let's go to number four. Can I go to number four? Can we start back? Okay, we, yeah, we can double down. We can do the snake effect. My number four is a glizzy. Oh, shit. My number four is a glizzy. is? Yeah, it's a hot dog. All right, well, I'm just making sure. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. So your number four is also a glizzy? Yeah. Oh, wow. No joke. Colombian hot dog. Yeah. A Colombian hot dog? Yeah. That's something something weird about that. What's different? Why? What's up with that? What do you mean? You What's put, a Colombian hot dog, bro? So you put, like, mayo, ketchup. Implants. You put, mayo. You put sour cream and onion chips on top. What the fuck? Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, you put chips on top. Yeah, I'm that telling you. That sounds fire. Does I the matter what kind of chips you put? No, and that's the thing. You could put Ooh. any chips so on top. So we can put purple Doritos on that shit. You purple could put Doritos. anything your heart desires. All right. Purple Doritos is the barbecue food. Yeah. Well, it's not 100%. in my top five, yeah. but it's a barbecue <laughs> it's food. A known, it's a known I'd thing. I'd be disappointed if I show up and there's no purple Doritos. Casamiento. You could bring it. Your fourth is what? Casamiento. What is that? That's a, it's a, it's a Hispanic dish. Can you what be more it? specific? It's it's uh, rice and beans. Basically, put it all together and like sits nice together and it's it's delicious. It's a great compliment to steak, chicken. So you can eat that shit with salad if you want. You want to hear something interesting? It's rice and beans? It, it, yeah, go. I'm not a big fan of that. What, beans? On the barbecue. Like, rice? I've been a part of his family's barbecues. And even at like our own barbecues, his mom makes Casamiento. Yeah, no. And I'm not a big fan of... Rice and beans? It's not rice and beans. That shit beans. is, it's a, not it's like, essential. It's, it's not mostly rice and beans. It's like literally a mixture. Of rice and it's beans. It's like a soup. Oh, no, no. He's bugging. It's no, not no, a soup. It's, it's, a little it's not bit supposed like a to soup be a soup. With everything it's not evaporated. It's not, it's not like true rice and beans that you, you're thinking of. I know what you're thinking of. You don't know what I'm thinking of. I know exactly what you're thinking of. I, Believe me. Believe me. Mark was married to sure. a Hispanic, bro. They don't make the same rice and beans that Salvadorians make. Maybe they don't. Maybe Believe they don't, me, man. I know. So... Pino. All right, well, basically what he's saying is, fuck the food I picked. No, all right, well, <laughs> all right so keep stuff. going. What's your three? Andy, go to three. My three, barbecue pizza. Barbecue pizza? And I'm not the even the biggest fuck? fan of barbecue pizza, but... Who the fuck has that a bar to barbecue? Yeah, if you, have that, if you have pizza at a barbecue... What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? You got to throw, saying, throw, throw, pizza, throw, throw barbecue, your grill. Me. Throw your grill. You, you really expect I'd, to I'd bring a barbecue to, for them to have barbecue pizza? Yes. You expect it? Yes. Throw your grill. Go fuck to your, yourself. Don't yes. fucking go to barbecues. Yes. No, no. Fuck. How do you I'm going to all the barbecues. Barbecue fuck out of here. Pizza. Fuck out of here. I'm only place that serves barbecue pizza is Pronto Pizza. I'm going. Going where? To any barbecue that has fucking barbecue pizza. And if they don't, I'm not eating there. Can I just make You're a statement? I'm not eating there. I've never made barbecue pizza. I refuse. Pizza. I've never made barbecue pizza. And you so ate starting all my to, food. so starting today, I'm not you doing it anymore. No starting today, I'm not doing that shit no more. Bullshit it. You're a pussy. This got dangerous. You don't live. You're a pussy. You don't live up to that standard. You're a pussy. I don't want to. What's barbecue wrong with being pizza, a pussy? Bro. Mark, Mark, In case you guys didn't hear me, all this is a pussy. Barbecue pizza, bro. Are you kidding me, bro? Kind of scared now. I'm going to say it again. Barbecue pizza. That's all my right, answer. If you're, that shit. Let me just let me, let me, let me calm you me down. Let me, pizza. Let me, You've never been to a barbecue that has bar- damn. barbecue pizza. Yo, someone You've get this guy out a, of my face. You've never been. Someone remind him of un- Uncle Andy, bro. You have never been to a barbecue that has barbecue pizza. Yes, I have. Yes, I can tell you who's. Tell me. Christopher Holtz. Who's that? My what, my ninth grade friend that's in the army. His I, name I him is the Christopher. Podcast. We can do that. Holtz? He lives in Tennessee, but we'll, we'll get that done. We'll get him on air. Sign it up. Sure, bet. Let's go next. Bet. Mark number go. three. I'm so lost. Yo, if you're if you have barbecue pizza at your barbecue, throw your grill to your neighbor's house. Bro, leave and, that and give me the pizza. Leave that. Okay, barbecue. my choice is flounder. The fuck is that? Fish. What kind? What? How's that made? You grill the fish. Is it, is it one of those, like, full full fish things? Yeah. So you take the fish, cut it in half, and then you put it out on the grill. Mm. And you grill it, and then you flip it. Put some lemon on it. Mm. Put that, some fucking... So just some fish? Never had that. You never had grilled fish? Grilled flounder, no. I had, like, fish. grilled salmon. Yeah, same shit, but uh, flounder is just white. It's white fish. Oh. Is it, like, tilapia? Yeah, tilapia is tilapia. not real fish. Tilapia is not real fish. I heard tilapia is not real fish. What does that mean? Who told you that? I heard it's, like, synthetic fish. Who told you that? No, I heard that. I, I feel like I read you, that or you saw You heard it. that? Who told you that? I didn't say it was somebody. Wait, wh- where'd you It read was that? like off a video or something. Mm. I don't know if tilapia is considered real fish. I don't know if that's the right one I'm talking about, but I'm pretty sure it's... Is it real fish? What if it's not real fish? Mm, it looks like it looks pretty real to me. Okay. No, that, oh, that's, that's flounder. flounder. Um, there you go. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, and he's gonna double down and be right. I don't know, yo. Fish at a barbecue is uh Nope. Okay. But like <laughs> let me let me ask you a question. Like Fourth of July barbecue. You come in, you want you expect fish there? Um I think I expect like a shrimp. That's a safe bet that you could probably find a, I a shrimp. I do shrimp on a skewer sometimes. There you go. Shrimp kebabies? Shrimp on a skewer. I don't know. I can't refer to sh- shrimp as a kebab. Bro, you can bring anything to a barbecue, though. No, but we're that's okay. a thing. We're, like, we're you can literally bring anything you can bring to a barbecue. Anything. I'm talking about, like... It's like bringing dominoes to a, pe- to a barbecue. I'm not bringing no dominoes. That's uh, fucking wild. Yeah, what if you bring barbecue pizza dominoes? <laughs> does does right, right, right. do barbecue Yo, pizza? Yo, Olex, Olex, what's your number three? What's your number three? It. There was, that, was, that was not even planned. <laughs> <laughs> My boy just sat on the fucking noisemaker. My number three is watermelon. What a cop out. There has to be that's, watermelon at a barbecue. That's such a cop that's out a of an answer, bro. Choice. How is that a cop it's out? It's just fucking fruit. That's not nobody's okay, eating that shit from Maine, bro. No, a that's, that's a bad choice. pick. How is that a bad pick, bro? Because you can replace that with literally anything, and I can say the same shit. Okay, but I chose watermelon. I can, I, can I? Whatever. Can I say that? Should we be you act like you don't eat watermelon at we every barbecue? Should. Oh my god! There, the, the guy I don't that, expect that to be there. Fucking said barbecue. What pizza, do you think, bro? Mark? What do you think? I think that let me be, be the tiebreaker. I think that it should be your honorary pick. Yep, but it should not be in your top five. There you go. That's my top five. I, I expect. Okay, watermelon. stand by it. I'm not saying I, that you shouldn't stand. Why do you get so offended? Because nobody's attacking your watermelon. You um, attacked my watermelon. No, I just said it was weak. I just said it was weak. That's you attacking it. Did you attack me for my pizza? Andy, so Andy, suck my balls. Shit. Andy, suck my what's balls. your number two? You could have said it's fruit. My number two. My fruit. number two is fucking pussy. Asparagus. What? Grow oh and you had God. the nerve to say something about Grow his asparagus. watermelon? Yo, move on. Grow the asparagus. Clear cut I can't. Pussy, bro. I can't. Grow the asparagus, and I'm there. Clear you have, cut if pussy. you have asparagus at your barbecue, yeah, go put your asparagus grilled. in your fucking you are barbecue in pizza. Grilled. And you're in like. Grilled. I, I don't even know what state you're in. Grilled. Fucking shit. Grilled. Maybe shit you guys are wrong. Horrible. I'm the American one here. Remember? That's horrible. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's horrible. Yup. I'm telling you, American asparagus. Number two, bro. Move on from this kid, bro. Blood sausage. What the fuck is that? It's blood sausage. Sausage with blood in it? Bad yeah. You inject blood in it? You don't like it? These are horrible lists. You don't like blood sausage? I don't know what that is. So it's a sausage? With blood on it. With rice and like pretty much blood in it and like. Oh, yeah, no. Wait, what? Anim- yeah. Who's blood? Animals. Nah. I don't know what's <laughs> in it. I just eat it. That's my pick. That's what no, I no, eat. I, I just want to know what it is. I, I, never, ha- I never heard of that. It's, I'll bring it to you. I'll, I'll, get, I'll okay. get it for you Don't for your next barbecue. No, I'm probably not going to eat it. No, you should try it. I'll try it. Yeah. Right. Let's also just kind of wild. So you know what it is. No, you just explained what it was. Oh, God. Lord have mercy. What do you mean? That sounds kind of wild. Oh, let's see your number blood. two. My number two? Yeah. Can kebabs. it compete with... Kebabs. Your number two is kebabs. Very simple. Kebabs. Mm. Chicken kebabs. Chicken kebabies? Yep. Marinated mm. on a skewer with green peppers and onions in between. That's Any it. asparagus? God forbid. <laughs> Doing asparagus all day, every day. Andy. Chimor. Hit us with your uh, number one pick. Chimor. Salad. Can you elaborate? It's a, it's a, it's, I, if you guys were to go to Chipotle, it's under tomato salsa or it's like tomato salad or something like that. So it's a dip. It's no, no, no. Guy, it's salad. Bro. It's tomato salad, not salsa. I meant salad. It's pico de gallo. Okay. It's pico de gallo, yeah. Mm. It's like tomato, onions. That's like, your number one. It's a salad. That's my number one. A salad. That I can eat on my own forever. I love that. It's my so favorite. And these top mm. three is a salad, asparagus, and a barbecue pizza. Do yep. you know what a barbecue is? Don't fucking yep. invite this kid anywhere, bro. It's a fucking shit okay. show. You guys would love my barbecue. That's all okay. I'm saying. Yeah. Throw a barbecue, bro. That's all I'm ahead. saying. Okay. What's your number one, Mark? It's going to be uh, it's gonna be uh, pig intestines. Shit. Tripa. Okay. Am I correct? I'm, Big I intestines. Tripe, bro. Uh, whatever you gotta do, bro. Tripe. I don't. Ju- I don't I'm judge saying, barbecues. Like, how, how does it look, how bro? Does it look? It's f- how does delicious. It look? It's a string. It looks like literally like a string okay. of intestines, and then you just just fry it up, bro. How does it? Like, it's it, in like, delicious. Do you, do you cut it. Is it empty inside? No, you don't cut it because you want everything in it that mm-hmm. came from that animal in that intestine. And then, like, you just, eat, bro, it's, no, nah, you don't understand. Like, <laughs> it's delicious. No, 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 okay. Throw some salt on it. 
So you're attacking the fuck oh out of mine, God. but his is like. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I, I, I can't even comment on his. That's how fucking disturbed I am. Uh, I'm telling you, bro. Anyways, eat whatever that. I just realized that the last two of my choices are like. Eat whatever that. Disgusting, animal, hey, bro. No blooded, like. <laughs> yeah, <intestines>. glorious fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck like eating the no, earlobes. It's delicious. It's delicious. What's your number one pussy? Burger. Wow, my that favorite was... food, burger. That's, okay, that's, well, that's it. That's it. It's my favorite. That's food plain. Food. Plain as fuck. But you know what? I let me tell you something about burgers at a barbecue. Tell me something. About if I show up and you have frozen burgers, yeah, I'm leaving. You have, oh, you want like? I, you 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 need to get the actual fucking thing. Make your own patties. Mm. What if I froze my own patties? That's oh. That's, no, no, you freeze your own patties, Is but it? I will like cheers. I will know. I like, cheers like me that. that. Cheers me on that. Come on. Check me, bro. But grilling frozen meat is. Uh, so you're you're not down with Bubba. Nah. You don't like Bubba. I grew up doing that until I realized how disgusting that is. What Bubba? No, frozen meat. But what's, what about Bubba? What's Throwing? Bubba? It's a company. Bubba Bubba Gump. Um. No, Bubba, Bubba Burgers. Gump. It's Bubba Burgers. Bro, it's delicious. No, never heard. Is it's that delicious. like the hamburger helper shit? The no. gross no, shit? It's, it's, no. literally oh, fr- okay. it's literally frozen patty. But it's delicious. It's good. It's so good. They're oh, okay. so then. Oh my God! It's they're good. they're okay. Like comp- compared to your own patties, like bro, that's no comparison. Well, yeah, obviously you can throw so whatever saying, you want like, in your own like patties. You, you gotta have your own patties at a burger. Mm. I respect that. Mm. I mean, it's definitely better. Oh, let's make his own patties. Those are the fire. Yeah, you have to make your putting own asparagus patties. on your burgers. Yes, I'm eating with with it. <laughs> I've never seen him do it. Can't confirm that. Not inside, but I'll definitely eat them with it. It's We've tough. all done that. It's tough. We've done that. Tough. Hundred percent. We have honorary pick. Honorary pick. Go watermelon. What you got? What? Honorary pick. Watermelon. Uh, potatoes. Kind like of potatoes. baked potato. Like a in foil baked potato. Yeah, baked potato. Yeah, that's fire. Damn, that was. <laughs> that's a good one. I do that. I know. I do that a lot. I know you do. I, I think it's a Russian thing to throw potato under a coil, and just leave it at the whole entire barbecue. Oh, it is. No, that's not. That's 100%. called baking a potato. No. Not a lot of people do it. No, I feel like a lot, lot of people. A lot of, do it. Lot of people, Most don't people do it. leave it on top of the grill. Yeah, no, no, no. In like a little corner. Yeah. Okay. From a grill expert. Yeah, Put a bacon around it. it. Sometimes. Bacon. You know, ba- putting bacon around bacon. things is a very touch and feel thing. Mm. A lot of people don't like pork. That's very sensitive to it. Yeah, I guess. Give me the fucking bacon. Bro. Safe. The good safety. I mean yeah. that shit. Sometimes you just don't put it. All right. Like I don't even do bacon at a barbecue. Like, you don't have to. Grill it. It's I hard to grill. It's really good on skewer. Huh. I will try that next time. Yeah. Swear. Do it. I don't know. I, I whenever whenever all the barbecues, I'm just there. There. Yeah. Listen to well, music. You, there with your barbecue. Pizza. Well, you were here. Listen, listen to music. You were here. What do you mean? You were like here, presently here. I was. That's good. Yeah. Um. You know. I was. I think it's time to uh, hand out the tea and coffee. To chink. Chink away. You wanna you wanna chink, chink. clinkies? Clinkies and uh tea coffee go home. Tea coffee. Go home. Tea coffee? Uh go home. Go That's home. What's up. Get the fuck out of here. Happy fourth of July guys.